Hello, we are starting the exercise 7.3 today. But before that, it is introduction we will start. In introduction, we have to learn the area of triangle to find the area of triangle using the coordinate geometry. So here the simple formula is given: the area of triangle is equal to one by two into b is equal to altitude. As we have learned it earlier, also that half into b is equal to altitude. It is the area of the triangle. But for the coordinate geometry, it is something different. We suppose that this figure to find the area of this triangle ABC. We suppose that the coordinates of A are x1 and y1, B is x2 and y2, and C is x3 and y3. To find this area, we have to first find the area of this trapezium BQPA. Then APQ. P R C and then we will minus it, subtract it from the area of B Q R C and then we will get the area of triangle A B C. To find the area of trapezium, the formula is one by two into sum of its parallel sides into distance between them. But to make it more easier and not the such a long method, we a simple formula is given in the textbook. Area of triangle is equals to one by two into x one into y two minus y three plus x three into y three minus y one plus x three into y one minus y two. And this is how we will find the area of triangle. Pause the video to note down the formulas of this. Now starting the exercise 7.3. In that number we are told to find the area of triangle using the vertices and the coordinates given in the question. In that number one, the three vertices and the coordinates of a triangle are given. We are supposed to find the area of the triangle. We suppose that the vertices are A, B, and C. We have to find the area of triangle using the formula we have learned in the introduction section. 1 by 2 into x1 into y2 minus y1 plus y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Substituting this value, the vertices and coordinates value in that equation, we get the answer after equating 21 by 2 square units. Same in the number 2. Question with number 2. Three vertices are given and we have to find the area of the triangle. Here also we suppose the vertices to be A, B and C. To find the area of triangle we will use the same formula. 1 by 2 into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Equating this we get 32 square units answer of that area of triangle and these are the answers of the areas of triangle by the vertices and the coordinates given in the question. Pause the video to note down the solution. In question number 2, we are told that the three vertices which are given to us and the coordinates are collinear with each other. We have to find the value of the k, the missing value in that. In that number 1, the vertices are given as 7 minus 2, 5, 1 and 3 k. And we have suppose that x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 here. Area of triangle equals to 0. As the vertices are collinear with each other, the points are collinear with each other, the area of triangle will be 0. So using the same area of triangle formula but using but area of triangle is equal to 0 and using it formula 1 by 2 x1 into y1 y2 minus y3 plus x3 into y3 minus y1 plus y x3 into y1 minus y2 is equal to 0 as the points are collinear with each other. We get a is equal to 4. Using the same method in number 2, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 is 8, 1, k minus 4, 2, minus 5. 
area of triangle is equal to zero as the points are collinear with each other. Using the same formula and equating them, we get a is equal to three. So this is how we are find the unknown value using the area of triangle formula. Pause the video to note down the solution. In question number three, it is told that um, area, the one triangle is given. Suppose ABC and the vertices are given. And we are told that to find the area of the triangle which is formed by joining the midpoints of these three lines, three vertices of this triangle. So we have taken here A, B, C triangle and the vertices which are given in the question. We have taken the midpoint between B, C, S, D, between A, C, S, E and A, B, S, F. So by joining these three midpoints, one triangle will be formed and we have to find the area of that triangle and then the ratio between the areas of these two triangles. So now start the question. Answer. Coordinates of D. First we have to find the coordinates of D. So for the, it is told that the, it is a middle point. Midpoint of this line. So here x1, x2 is given. So 2 plus 0 by 2 and 1 plus c by 2. The midpoint formula which we have used in exercise 7.2. We will use it here again to find the coordinates. So by this way we get the coordinates of D. Similarly for E, 0, 1 and C for coordinates of F, F is 1, 0. Now we will find the area of triangle D, E, F as we have got the coordinates of D, E and F here. We will find the area of triangle D, E, F using the area of triangle formula which we have learned in the introduction. 1 by 2 into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y3 y1 minus y2. And we get the answer as 1 square unit. Now we will find the area of triangle ABC which was given in the question in the vertices. So by using the same area of triangle formula, we get the answer is equal to 4 square units. So the ratio of the two triangles will be 1 ratio 4. So here we have found the ratio and here in this question we have used two formulas, midpoint formula and uh, area of triangle formula to find the ratio. Pause the video to note down the solution. Question number 4. The coordinates of four points are given and it is told that they are the points of a quadrilateral. So here we are suppose that the ABCD is a quadrilateral and we have these vertices of it, coordinates of it and we have to find the area of that quadrilateral. So we will divide the quadrilateral by drawing the diagonal BD. And we will partially find the areas of the triangles and then add up and find the total area. First we will find the area of triangle ABD using the area of triangle formula 1 by 2 into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Substituting this uh, values in formula we get the answer 23 by 2 square units. Now find the, we will find the area of triangle BCD using the same area of triangle formula but here x1, x2, x3 and y1, y2, y3 will be different and we will substitute this value in this equation and we get the answer 33 by 2 square units. We will add up both the area to find the area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of triangle AB plus area of triangle BCD. 23 by 2 plus 33 by 2 square units which is equal to 28 square units of this quadrilateral area. The answers of this triangle and area may be different but at the end we should get the 28 square units because in every reference books and every guide all the different answers are given. Because of the different diagonal or different vertices, they have chosen different triangles. But at the end, answer will be 28 square units.
पोस्ट इमीडिएट नोट डाउन दी सॉल्यूशन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इट इस टोल्ड दैट वी हैव लर्न्ड इन स्टैंडर्ड नाइन दैट एक मीडियम इन द ट्रायंगल डिवाइड्स द ट्रायंगल इन टू इक्वल पार्ट्स एंड टू इक्वल एरियाज एंड हैव टू प्रूव इट फॉर द सेम the vertices of the triangle is given. We have to prove that its median divides the triangle into two equal areas. So here we have suppose that the triangle is ABC and the vertices are given in textbook, uh, which are four minus six, three minus two, and five two. We will draw median AD. D will be the midpoint of BC as it is a median. It intersects on the on the other side of the midpoint. For the coordinates of B is equals to x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 which is 4 comma 0 using the midpoint formula. Now we will find the area of triangle ABD taking x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3 and using the area of triangle formula we will substitute all the values in the formula. We get the answer minus 3 square units but area cannot be negative. So it is 3 square units. We will similarly find the area of triangle ABC using the formula of triangle. Area of triangle and we will substitute x1, x2, x3 and y1, y2, y3 as the points or the triangle we have taken. x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3 and substitute in the area of triangle formula. We get the answer minus 3 square units. Same again, the area cannot be negative. So it is 3 square units. So here we have proved that area of triangle ABD is equal to area of triangle ADC. So it is proved that the AD divides the triangle ABC, median AD divides the triangle ABC into two equal parts, into two equal areas, and it is proved here. Pause the video to note down the solution. Here we have completed our exercise 7.3 and with it we have completed our chapter 7 coordinate geometry. If you like the video, please like, click on the like button and subscribe the channel.